This is the seventh video of the series and we're going to talk about the Bloxy sidebar. Hi, my name is Stratos and I create video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This video is going to be shorter because we don't have so many options into the sidebar as we had in the header and the footer. So let's jump into the sidebar in order to see those. Once you click it, you can see that you can change the types of the sidebar. But since we don't have a sidebar here, we have to enable first this sidebar to actually see it and you don't enable it from here from the sidebar settings you go into the page that you want or into the customizer into the area that you want for the sidebar to be enabled if you want to display that into the pages you have to go into the pages and select if you want the left sidebar or the right sidebar if you want to do that into the posts you have to go into the blog posts single post or categories depending on where you want to do that and select the left sidebar or the right sidebar if you want to do it in woocommerce you have to go into the archive page or the single page i don't have woocommerce enabled here so this is why you cannot see it select the single product and then you will see again the sidebar left or right and this is where you enable the sidebar but for the actual settings of the sidebar you have to go into the customizer into the sidebar something else that i would like to add here is that you can also enable a separate page to have a sidebar if you want or a separate single post a single post that you want to have a sidebar but all the other posts don't you can go into the uh, that page or that post that you want and enable the sidebar so it can be independent into a single post or a single page but if you want to do it for the whole website you do it from the customizer let's go into the pages I'm going to enable the left sidebar it doesn't matter the same settings are for the left and the right but I'm used to see that into the left let's go back into the sidebar and here we're going to stop with the type 1 this is the one that is already enabled then we have the type 2 that has a little bit of background but it's not too wide I'm going to add into the design a little bit of color in order to see that. So this is how it looks for the type 2. This is the type 1. Type 2 is a box, but it's not too wide. Then we have type 4 with a wide uh, area. It's not a box, it's the whole area. And then we have the type 3 that has just a line, but you cannot see it because the line, I think, needs to be changed. Okay, something like that so these are the types that we have i am going to leave it as this one probably just to see what we have next after that we have the sidebar the sidebar width and this is 27 percent so let's change that to maybe 22 and as you can see the content will uh, grab the whole area that you will leave so the rest 78 percent will go into the content it will be automatically calculated so you don't have to worry about that the sidebar gap is outside the sidebar so this is the four percent and we can go with something like two and this is how it looks let's leave it to four then we have the container inner spacing and this is for the uh, inner spacing as it says here let's go for something less probably 50 percent you cannot see all the other elements changing because it hasn't reached out the elements yet but if i go and put that at probably 80% yeah you will see that it shrinks so it changes the inner spacing after that we have the widgets vertical spacing and since these are widgets I can change that and have less spacing inside here let's go with 30% 30 pixels sorry and for all of those settings those two settings the container inner spacing and the widget spacing you have different things that you can add for the mobile and tablet view after that we have the widget title tag to be h3 h4 h5 or something different this is for the widget title tag again it's for the html uh, tag it's not for the actual size to change and since these are widgets that are created with Gutenberg, you cannot see them changing you have to go into the widget to change but if you add a widget here that grabs automatically the things from the uh, theme then uh, you will see all of those changings here the same goes with the colors later on then we have the sticky sidebar let's scroll down see how the sidebar uh, does right now so as you can see you scroll down and you'll not see anything sticky but if you enable the sticky sidebar then i can scroll down and it will become sticky now i have already changed those but let's delete that and now if i scroll down you will see that it 
comes and stays sticky. And this is the space that we have. This is the uh, space that we're going to change next, which is the sticky top offset, which is 50, but we can go with something like 60 or 70. It doesn't appear when we start and uh, with no scroll, but once we start scrolling, then the sticky top offset will appear, the 70 uh, pixels. We have then the sticky behavior, it's the, the entire sidebar. We can select the last two widgets and only those can be sticky. So we can see five widgets here, but once we start scrolling, the last two will come and uh, grab the sticky element. And then we have also the offset that we can change. And as you can see, it has more space when it starts to become sticky. Sidebar visibility, so you can switch off if you want to uh, remove the sidebar for the tablet or the mobile view. And we have also the mobile sidebar position, so you can put it on top. This is great if you're going to add your filters for WooCommerce products and you want to see the products pages. And from the mobile, you want to see the filters on top. Not many themes do that, and this is great to have. After that, let's go into the design. And here you can change the widget title font from 20 to something different. As you can see, it doesn't change here because, again, these are Gutenberg elements that you can change into the actual widgets. And then we have the widget font, which is for the content inside, and then we have the widget font color. Nothing of those settings is going to be changed. But if you add here a plugin that adds widget into your website, and that widget can grab all the settings from the theme, then you can change all of those, and you will see those things to be changed inside your sidebar. At this moment, nothing of those can be changed. Let's hit publish here, and then let's go into the widgets, and here into the widgets, we're going to see the sidebars that we have. The main sidebar is the one that we are seeing for the posts and for the pages and for the archive pages of the posts. If you add WooCommerce, then you will see a different sidebar that you can change for the products that you will have for the products and for the archive pages. And Bloxy will give us also the functionality to add multiple custom sidebars. So you can create as many sidebars as you want. And we have also the feature to enable that into some pages only those that we want and show that in different pages and all of those functionality. We will do that in a separate video because uh, at this moment I'm just seeing the customizer. Later on I will go for the Bloxy things and advanced features. If you have used already WordPress then you should know how this works. You go click the plus icon and you add what element you want to add from all the widgets that you have in your website. And if you add it inside here, let's see the call to action and hit update. And let's go to the website and let's refresh the page here. We will see that we have the call to action inside our sidebar. That was all with the current video. It was a small one if you compare it with the previous that we have for the header and the footer. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for the Bloxy series. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.